Hi everybody, welcome to part two of the uh, series on predetermined tracks. This time we're uh, using the HSI, we're using the same piece of software that I used in uh, part one. So hopefully you saw part one, you can find this software on the uh, Selkirk College website. And the, uh, the random number generator has come up with a clearance for us. So our call sign Pilot 200, we're cleared to intercept the 22 zero degree radial inbound to the Yankee Papa Bravo VOR. The first thing we have to learn to do is interpret this clearance, the 220 degree radial inbound. Radials always uh, are pointed away from the VOR by definition. So if we're being asked to track inbound on the 220 degree radial, remember that's inbound on the 220 degree radial, our track is going to be the reciprocal of 220, in other words 040. So the first thing we have to do is interpret the clearance correctly and then set our HSI to 040. So I'm going to bring my HSI around now and set it to 040. Okay, so you can see the course up here on the left. Now this particular HSI has the RMI needle right on top of it. So this hollow needle is the RMI needle. Your uh, particular airplane may or may not have this installed. We have it in some of the uh, the airplanes at Selkirk, but not all of them. Um, but on the uh, the standalone RMI down here at the bottom, we can see the current bearing to the station right here. So one way or another, we've got an HSI here, and we have an RMI. And we're using the same saying as last time, remember, which was the desired to the head plus 30. So the desired is now visually shown for us because we've set the course here on the HSI. So it's right here, 040. We move over to the head, which is right here at about um, 015, 014. And then we're going to go another 30 degrees. So that's 10, 20, 30. That's going to be about 345 or 344. Now, uh, at the same time we're doing that, we should notice that we are indeed turning towards uh, the course of it, the track bar here. So that gives us confidence that we haven't made a mistake. So I'm going to turn over here to 344. 345, whatever. Of course, it doesn't really matter whether we do 344 or 345. We can see on the picture that that's you know, obviously good. I'll just speed up time here to save a little bit of time. And if we maintain this track, we'll get on track. You can see we're pushing the head of the RMI. And as the RMI comes around towards the course on the HSI, uh, this time, because it's a VOR intercept, the track bar will come live and come in and center. So we're still about, uh, oh, we're just a little bit uh, more than 10 degrees off track. So you see it starting to come in. And now we can turn around to our 044. And there we are on track, just as simple as that. Okay, so let's do another one. So we click do another, and the computer this time comes up with intercept the 275 degree radial inbound. So remember, this is not our course, this is the radial. The course is going to be the reciprocal of that, which is 09 or 5. So I'm going to set my HSI up to 09 or 5. That's the first step. And this, you know. More often than not, if someone makes a mistake, this is where the mistake gets made. So we set 0, 09 or 5. So this is now the desired. And then the saying is desired to the head plus 30. So here's the desired. There's the head. Go another 30. So that would be right here 10, 20, 30. That's roughly about here at about um, 0, 010. 0. That'll be close enough. So we'll come around here to 0, 010. 0. And that should do the trick for us. We'll speed up time so you can see that that will do the trick. And on our um, moving map down here, we can see that indeed that is working. We are pushing the head. See the RMI head right here? We're pushing it over here towards 95. And we're definitely going to get on track. So we just have a little bit of patience and we'll get there. I don't think we even need to, uh, to finish this one up. We're going to do another one now. 
but this time we're going to hide all the training aids just to make it a little bit more challenging. So we'll click do another. And this time the computer would like us to intercept the two one eight degree radial inbound. So again, we need to take the reciprocal. So that's going to be 0, 3, 8. So I'm going to set my course to 0, 3, 8, which is right there, right there. And again, the saying is desired to the head plus 30. So there's my desired, 0, 3, 8. There's my head. Go another 30 degrees. So there's 10, 20, 30. That's going to be somewhere roughly in here. 85 would be close enough. Uh, so I'll just turn to 085 like so and let the, uh, the computer go. Now that I'm in the turn, I can show the picture so that you can see that I did do it correctly. I'll just speed up time here. And sure enough, it's just as simple as that. We're now pushing the head over here towards uh, 038 uh, degrees, and we'll be on track in about a minute or so. Okay, so that's really all there is to inbound predetermined intercepts with an HSI. Hopefully you found it a little bit easier. Notice that you're always flying towards the track bar. See the track bar is coming in here. And as the track bar crosses the lever line, I'll turn to 038. And there we are on track. Simple as that. So uh, probably the secret to, to realize with... Uh, with uh, an HSI is you're always going to be flying towards this track bar. You can see here it's off to the right. If the airplane was over this way, it'd be going that way. So you're always going towards the track bar. But use your RMI as well. So use a combination of the RMI and the track bar to figure out where you're going to go. Okay, so now let's do some outbound predetermined intercepts. So down here at the bottom, we turn inbounds within 60 off, turn outbounds off, or on rather. Now we click do another. So this time the clearance says uh, that we're to intercept the 076 degree radial outbound from the view line. Now if we're going to go outbound, that means we actually are going to fly 076. We're going to go to the right here. So we don't need to take a reciprocal this time. That throws people off all the time. You know, when do I take a reciprocal? When do I not? When you're going outbound, no need to take a reciprocal because radials are outbound by definition. So all I have to do is set my course to 076. Okay, like so. That's looking good. And you remember from last time, the same. It was tail to the desired plus 30. So here's the tail. There's your desired 076. And then go another 30, so that'd be 86, 96, 106 right in here. So we need to turn to a heading of 106. And speed it up. Now if you're really observant, you'll, you'll notice that we could have easily figured this out without even looking at the RMI because we just we're turning towards the track bar which is over here to the right and we're turning 30 degrees towards it so outbound intercepts with an HSI total piece of cake um, but I'd like you to to say to yourself tail to the desired plus 30 and then just confirm you're going towards the track bar that way the same procedure is going to work for you whether you're dealing with an RMI or an HSI so we're getting closer you can see we're pulling the tail up. We're almost there, about another 12 degrees to go now. Coming down to about 10 degrees. So at 10 degrees, the track bar should come live. There it comes. Usually, uh, the best thing to do is wait till your track bar crosses the bottom of the lever line. So there's the bottom of the lever line. And so there it is crossing the bottom of the lever line. And if I turn now to 106, probably be, or 076 rather, that'll probably be pretty close. You can see I turned a little bit too soon, so I'll just maintain a bit of an intercept and get back on track. Okay, so we're going to do another now. 
and but this time we'll hide the training it. So we'll click do another. And we would like to intercept the track of two, three, nine or degrees outbound. So what do we set on the HSI? Do I take the reciprocal or not? That's right, no reciprocal required here. So I can just simply set two, three, nine or like so. And then what's the saying? It's tail to the desired plus 30. So here's my tail. Go to the desired plus 30. So it's over here roughly at 270 to be precise. It's 269. So I'll turn to about 269 or 270. Notice it doesn't really matter whether you do 269 or you do 270. And this will bring us back on track. We can see we're pulling the tail up towards uh, 269 or 239, sorry. And we'll show the map so we can see. Sure enough, there we are. And if we have a little bit of patience, we'll get back on track. So just as I showed you last time, you can turn the computerized flying instructor on if you need to. Uh, but these HSI ones, they're pretty easy. So if you watch this video a couple of times, and then run this computer simulation a few times. You should be right on top of it before you try it uh, in the Frasca simulators. Okay, so that's it for part two. In part three, we'll do the standard VOR intercept. Okay, see you for that.